And what's this? Billy Graham's son uh, is supporting Vladimir Putin's anti-gay crusade in Russia. Yeah, Franklin Graham finds himself uh, edging closer to inheriting the mantle of Fred Phelps rather than that of his father, Billy Graham. Well, Billy Graham was a homophobic freak, too. Still is. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the love, the love coming from liberal talk radio. What's left of liberal talk radio, that is. Mike Malloy. Woo um, you heard what he said. Uh, I need not comment on Gimme Five. By the way, welcome to Gimme Five. Uh, there's more. By the way, he, he, this is a recent show. He pulls out from, according to Newsbusters, an outdated uh, article from the Olympic time, from back from the Olympics, and treats it as, as if it's news. Here's more. In, in the column that uh, Franklin Graham wrote, it was titled Putin's Olympic Controversy. Uh, Franklin Graham not only declares his support for Putin in Putin's treatment of gays in Russia, he also maintains that the Russian leader is handling gay issues better than President Barack Obama. <laughs> Isn't this a great Christian, Franklin Graham, all full of love and compassion and brotherhood and sisterhood and, and love thy neighbor as thyself, and yet he had is 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 it wonderful, oh Franklin Graham? All right. Um, no, you're full of love, obviously, uh, Mr. Malloy. You are full of love. That's obvious. And then he has some advice uh, for Franklin Graham, which uh, I need not comment on either. And Franklin Graham says that Putin is doing a better job with the queers than, than Barack Obama is doing, right? Because Barack Obama won't lock him up. Jesus, Franklin. You know, I'll tell you what. Tell you what, I've said this before to some of you real intense homophobes, that if you just tried it one time, nobody has to know about it, Franklin. Just, just, you know, I'm sure somebody would, would be willing, maybe an older gay man would be willing to introduce you into some of the fundamentals of gay sex and just try it and just see if it's the horror that you think it is. You might be a little bit surprised. You might come out of the encounter saying, well, that was, uh, um, I mean, it's kind of nothing. And you might come out of the encounter saying, Whoa! Okay, uh, let me read you from uh, Tim Graham, our friend at Newsbusters. Leftist radio host Mike Malloy picked up a dated editorial on the Sochi Olympics by Reverend Franklin Graham to lamely claim Graham's inching closer to Fred Phelps on the hate meter since he felt Putin seems more Christian than Obama. But it's Malloy, writes Graham, who is be a better role model for coarse rhetoric, suggesting that Christ the Christian leader needs, quote, sexual advice, end quote, namely to try anal sex before he condemns it, just like you shouldn't condemn pizza without trying it. Um, here's the next one. But Franklin, you know, uh, uh, un un until you, you, you taste a pizza, for example, you can't really say that pizza is not good. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you have to try a little pizza to, to decide if you like it, you don't like it, or you're kind of neutral. All right. That's the love of uh, liberal talk radio. Again, what's left of it. And I say what's left of it because it's a dying breed. Randy Rhodes who once got in trouble for something she said about President Bush with bang, 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 you might recall. Uh, she's leaving her radio show, and she had some harsh words for her former fellow, fellow former, former fellow, liberal talk show host from Air America, if you remember that defunct organization. Listen. I was in it for the format. I was in it for being an advocate, for having a platform where things like what I say could be heard and become very mainstream and understandable and, 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 and interesting and funny and that, you know, uh, it could be a platform like we've never had before. Uh, but other people were not there for that. Some people saw, a, a, you know, a chance to be in a cabinet and other people saw it as a chance to go to the Senate and other people saw it as a chance to national television and everybody was using it for their own reason and it just it was not uh, so I came back uh, here to Florida all right so uh, she was obviously I believe talking about Rachel Maddow and Al Franken who started at Air America along with her bye Randy bye liberal talk radio full of love on the Steve Malzberg show the Steve Malzberg show